the pain of distance. From contact sports, I've learned that if I have a strong energy field, it prevents people from running into me accidentally or because they are so busy with their lives. Nowadays, I see that the weaker I feel, <coughs> the more distance I get. We live in times of high intensity. Absent-mindedness in the streets belongs to the past. Brains are in distance control mode to see the danger from far, ready to jump back or into bushes to prevent not a collision, but on passing by too bodily close, violating not only the physical distancing rules, but a sense of what feels safe. We do not fear tigers or robbers, but that other, a representative of the potentially virus-infected species. We live in a time when listening to a stranger wakens up that inner voice. Is he, she, just showering me with corona? Gosh, am I gonna die next? When I wake up during the night, sweating, I wonder if it is corona fever or just fear. I do my 30-minute breathing program. And go back to bed boosts the immune system. That is my only hope. In the morning, I walk to the Lake Zurich to see the shades of blue, to feel the sun on my face, and peace comes back to my heart. We live in a time when kissing becomes a suicidal act once desire takes over fears and regulations. We collect bottles of wine or pray to the deity. I end up confused. How do I balance the need of affection and the fear of infection? Do I fear more the virus or the stress of isolation? Do I use soap or disinfectant? Meanwhile, my hands are getting battle weary, looking red and dry. Looking around the world, I wonder, will people be killed by corona or rather die from hunger? Do we cry for solidarity, yet stock a shop of toilet paper? Do we worry about hairdressers and manicures during lockdown or how to keep our souls alive? Sunday morning, I stand in the queue in front of the bakery. In front of me, at two meters distance, a girl with her mother. The girl wears a sweater. On her back is written, give me a smile. I smiled. She didn't see my smile, but it made my day. <laughs>